My name is Lucas, it starts with Alice in like, ends with S and subscribe. Please do both and in the meantime I'm gonna finish this uh, nozzle changing mini series we have going on here with actually explain in detail how you actually change the nozzle on your Bamboo Lab A1. And as always and my way of saying thanks for subscribing to this channel we are gonna start with the shortest possible solution and that is simply that you need to change the nozzle in the physical printer. You also need to change the slicer setting under the prepare tab in Bamboo Studio and last but not least you also need to change the printer parts setting under the device tab in Bamboo Studio as well. Hopefully some of you already found that information useful and you have no other reason to continue watching this video. If that is the case please do remember to subscribe to this channel and then see you all in the next one but for those of you myself included who feel like you need a little bit more information on how you actually physically change the nozzle and these other settings in bamboo studio please continue watching because that's exactly what we are going to do right now I, I don't know if you can tell but i am speaking a little bit faster in this video simply because i want this video to be as short as possible mainly because uh, as some of you might have already spotted we do have one new toy <coughs> i mean tool here in the workshop which actually is a brand new Bamboo Lab A1 printer. And I also want to give a huge thanks to 3dmart.com.tw, 3D printer distributor here in Taiwan and Hong Kong. If you are looking for any kind of a 3D printing solution, not only Bamboo Lab, not only FDM printers, they have literally everything you can possibly need. Huge thanks, not only for being the first sponsor on this channel, but also making it possible for me to to later on focus on my 3D printing business, which was what this whole adventure was supposed to be about before I discovered that I actually love making these YouTube videos as well. So the plan would be to have uh, one printer like dedicated for YouTube testing, whereas the, the other one would be uh, more or less dedicated to actually make some 3D prints, which I hopefully can, can sell sometime in the future. But that is of course not why you are here watching this video, because we are gonna do a deep dive into how we actually change the nozzles, both in the printer and then also in Bamboo Studio on the computer, which you don't see right now, but it's there, promise. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. The 3D printer is fine. I'm fine. So the first thing you want to do is to just follow the instructions here on the cover and to remove this cover for hot end replacement. Now I am realizing that I might have actually screwed up the names and terms of, of all these vocabulary because uh, I think technically uh, this is the hot end and actually this part is the nozzle but we are gonna replace the, the entire hot end which includes the nozzle. Next step is to remove this silicon cover which might be hot if you have recently used the printer. Next step is to open both these hinge doors as I call them or spring buckle which seems to be the official name according to Bamboo Lab. Then you should also press the cutter to make sure that the filament has been properly cut which I think happens automatically but if you are in a situation where you might have not saying that I did this but if you are in a situation where you might have accidentally emergency just stop the print because you realize that you forgot to change the nozzle then you do have to manually cut that filament as well. Then all you have to do is just simply grab and remove this hot end and then replace it with the proper size that you want and when you put the new size in just make sure that you have the text facing the right side as you are facing the printer then all you have to do is to just close these spring buckles and then last but not least it's time to put back the cover starting with the hinges on top and then gently push it right into the place until you hear that satisfying clicking sound at the bottom. Okay, now we're 80% there. The only thing we have to do is to make two small quick adjustments in Bamboo Studio. With I think the most obvious one being here on the prepare slide on Bamboo Studio. Right below the actual printer you do have the first option being the diameter where you simply choose the diameter of the nozzle you want to use. But for some reason there is one more setting we do need to make and that is under the device tab where you have the printer parts and you actually need to tell Bamboo Studio which printer parts you have installed but you should also not worry too much because if you do forget to change these printer parts then Bamboo Studio will actually give you a warning message and you will actually not be able to print the plate you have going on. And that was everything I wanted to share and not only in this video but in this entire nozzle changing series. I figured we have talked about all these other mistakes I've been doing with all these other different prints so we should of course also talk about how you actually do change the nozzle if you have been inspired and maybe already ordered your new next nozzle. So now the question is uh, what kind of mistakes should I do next? Uh, again 
I am super, super happy and super excited for having now two Bamboo Lab A1 printers here, which means that I can do twice as, as many videos. And I have actually already started preparing my next video or next week's video at least, uh, comparing different kinds of PLA on my task to find the most affordable slash cheapest but still good enough uh, PLA so we can all save some money and uh, hopefully some time as well so you don't have to do all that research. The only thing you have to do is to just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, if you do have please like this video and if it's not too much to ask maybe share this video with some of your other 3D printing friends or contacts. I am on my quest to hit 4000 watch hours because that's when we can put some ads into the video which I know that maybe not everyone will appreciate it, but I will appreciate that very, very much because that will be able to support this little side business even more and uh, make me even more excited and motivated to record even more videos. That is all secondary. The most important thing is that you enjoy watching my videos and that you also leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any ideas of future videos or other future tests or experiments. Uh, one person reached out saying that they want to see the new H2D, 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 the new H2D nozzle on the Bamboo Lab A1 because it's all backwards compatible and everyone including myself seems to think that the new nozzle would of course be better than the previous one. The question is, is it better on the Bamboo Lab A1 as well. Is there any difference? I have no idea. Uh, on my next order from Bamboo Lab, I am gonna get one myself and try it out. So if that's something that you wanna see, please do remember to also hit that notification bell so you get notified as soon as that video is being released. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with Alice in like, ends with S, and see subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.